Hi, my name is Anne Marie Williams. I'm an artist and I'm here to give you some tips on painting. I start off with a canvas that's 16 by 20 inch. It's a stretched canvas and I've already prepped it with a thin even coat of liquid white. By doing that, the paints go on much smoother, much nicer. I have all my paints all out on my palette. I have white, blue, black, crimson, brown, green, and yellow. I use a two inch brush, a one inch brush, a fan brush, a palette knife, and a little skinny script liner brush. Those are the tools I'll be using today. I hope you enjoy watching. Today I want to paint some puffy little clouds. I want to start off by giving the canvas, oh it's got the, the white on there already, so I'm going to take the blue and put the sky in and then we'll put in the little clouds. I always start at the top because when you're looking at the sky it's always deeper in color at the top of the picture. We go across with little zigzag strokes and it's starting to pick up a little bit of that liquid white that I've already put on the canvas. And the nice thing about that is it starts getting lighter as it goes down toward the horizon. And most of the time, if you look at the sky, the sky always gets lighter as it goes down to the horizon. Little puffy clouds are so much fun to paint. And once you learn the technique, it's just so much easier. You can squish it around a little. Make the sky look really pretty. You can make cloudy skies, you can make stormy skies. Anything that's a lot of fun to paint, you just go ahead and do it. All right, I got the background color in. I'm gonna take my fan brush and I'm going to just put some white on one corner, flip it over, put some white on the other corner. By loading both sides of the brush, I don't have to go back to the palette as often. I'm gonna start over here and just put little teeny circles. You don't want to do a caterpillar going across the page because usually the sky has lots of different movements and puffy clouds are all different shapes. You can see I started running out of paint. I flip it over. Nice bright white paint because the sun is striking the top of the clouds and this is where the brightness comes in. All right, give me some more paint. Once I get this in, I'm going to tap out the bottoms and puff them up a little bit. All right, put that down. I'm gonna grab my one inch brush and just go to the cloud and I like to do circles, like little, I think of a clock when I'm doing this, 12, nine, six, three, and I go around and just puff up the clouds. When you get to the end, you can just kind of whoo, go off to the side. All right, but just by tapping it like this, it fills the cloud in, you wanna have you don't want to keep tapping and tapping and make all one color. You want to have the lights and the darks in there because it's so important. It gives it a nice, uh, what's the word? Contrast. All right. That looks pretty good. I'm going to put another row of clouds in. Uh, get my white loaded up again. And my start back in here. You can see, let it up overlap a little bit on that cloud. So you can just see the brightness coming through again. Pick up a little bit of blue, so I wanna get nice white color again. I flipped my brush over. Makes it much easier to do. All right. Take my one inch brush again, and I'm gonna tap it out just a bit. And fill it in. If you want, you can add a little pink to the clouds. I think we'll do a little bit of pink on the bottom cloud. And then I'll show you how to blend it. All right, we have to mix a pink color. I'll take my knife, grab some of that white, move it over here, grab a little bit of crimson. Crimson's a really strong color, so we don't want to add a lot to it. Okay, we have some pink going here. I'm gonna use my one inch brush that I was tapping the clouds out with. Just put a little pink on there and just tap in the bottom just a little bit. And you can just see how pretty that pink looks right here. Must be sunrise, a sunset, whatever you like. That looks pretty. I'm gonna take my blender brush. Blender brush is a, a, a brush with very, very soft bristles. I call it my magic brush. And 
the kids' classes that I teach, they call it the magic brush because once you fluff the clouds ever so softly, two hairs and some air, nice and soft, the whole cloud just comes alive. You can see how pretty it looks. If you get a little streak, you can always go in and just swirl it away. The nice thing about oil painting is it's so forgiving. You can get in here and really just play with the colors, swish them around a little bit, blend that pink in there just a little bit more. That looks pretty nice. Let me see, I want to bring the, water, the sky down a little bit more because in the next segment, I'm going to be doing some water and I'll finish this picture. But right now, we're just doing happy little clouds. We can do a couple little streaky clouds. I call them mare's tails. Basically, all they are is just a, a little streak cloud that comes through the sky. And when I'm doing them, I like to do zigzags so that it's not just a straight line. Flip it over a little bit. You can put a couple of birds up in the sky if you like. I take my little script liner brush, get into some black, and a couple of little birds here. Nice and gentle. And don't forget to give them a little flip up. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed watching Tips of Painting. Check the other segments I'll be teaching. Uh, showing you how to do clouds, water, stormy clouds, anything you like. Thanks for joining me on Tips in Painting. If you want to see some of my finished pictures, you can go to the Florida Artist Gallery in Floral City. And uh, have a good day and happy painting.